Hey everybody, how's it going? Kyle Lindsay here of South California. I'd like to welcome you to another one of my update videos. I make these periodic update videos to kind of give everybody a little bit more of an in-depth look at my personal life, some travels I've been doing on the side, as well as some general updates with YouTube, the channel, as well as future plans. There's been a lot happening over the past few months since I made the last update video in summer, so we'll try to keep this one short and keep everybody up to date as far as what's new and happening with Kyle, as well as my new wife Crystal, and everything going on in the future for the channel. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start the 48 up. It's a beautiful fall day and she hasn't run for a couple weeks, so I'm going to get her going and get it nice and warmed up. Alright, now that we have the 48 purring like a kitten, let's go over the first order of business which is recent travels. I actually just got back from Minneapolis, Minnesota this week. I spent the first half of the week over there, my first time ever in Minneapolis, for the um, national press introduction of the all new Kia Soul. It was a ride and drive event over three days. They had a um, product briefing on the second day, a few dinners, get togethers. It was a lot of fun. I really didn't know anybody and being that it was my first time to one of these manufacturer press events, you can understand I was a little bit nervous. But um, I met some people there that have seen my work before and uh, met some great people, some good contacts, and it was overall just, just a wonderful trip and I can't wait for a future opportunity to go back and do something like that. Um, a couple other events that I'm going to be attending, well, I actually just got back from Houston a few weeks ago as well. Uh, also my first time in Texas filming at a couple organizations down there. Uh, South Coast Autos and Auto Exotic Rental. They invited me out to film a bunch of their cars and even drive a few, including some exotics. I uploaded an SLS AMG test drive and review a couple weeks ago. I have a 458, an Audi R8 V10 Spider, and a Gallardo Spider coming as well. So be on the, be sure to look out for those over the next few weeks. In November, November 1st to be specific, I actually was in, fortunate enough to be invited to a um, the Rolls Royce ride and drive event for the all new rate and that's going to be in Scottsdale Arizona so that's that's just an awesome opportunity and I can't wait to show what I can do with film and being able to go on these excursions and just do something a little bit different it's something that I've been really excited to do um, to spread my wings and really really get out there uh, later in the month in November I'm going to be a keynote speaker at this uh, conference over in Lexington Kentucky so I have a whole lot of stuff going around a lot of public speaking. It's a lot different from what I'm um, used to doing and what I normally do, but that's good. I mean, everything in life is a growing experience anyway, and you just gotta keep working hard and basically go for it. Um, as far as some car updates, I know people, um, I posted a status on Facebook a little while ago to get some question ideas from, from viewers to see what you all really wanted to know, make sure I try to cover most of it. But I actually am selling a couple I bought one and that's about it. I had four cars previously and right now this busy time in my life, just graduating pharmacy school, uh, trying to figure out what my career and my niche is, what I'm going to do in pharmacy, what I'm going to do with YouTube and cars. It's all very busy and very stressful and I don't, I don't need four cars. <laughs> Nobody my age really needs four cars. But um, I had a 48... Uh, 65 Ford Fairlane and a 95 Buick Riviera, which is two of them. I sold my Fairlane actually a couple weeks ago. I had that car a little over two years and restored it. And there's a couple videos on the channel under the um, Kyle's Cars playlist. But yeah, I sold that to a local guy back a couple weeks ago. It's going to a good home. Um, somebody would really appreciate it. I don't have an external garage at the house that I bought earlier this year right now. Just a two-car garage for Crystal and I's um, main cars. So I, I really didn't want it just to sit out and everything, and yeah, it went to a good home. And I, I was I enjoyed it for a while, so it was it was fun while I had it. Um, I'm actually selling my Riviera too. That's still for sale at my dad's car lot, um, and I'll talk about that in just a second. But my dad's place, I've been doing a lot of stuff to help him out as well. But my other cars right now, I have my 1948 Ford Super Deluxe Tudor sedan. Um, I have a video that I have filmed of this, but I have not uploaded it. I actually just made the video a couple weeks ago. So it'll probably be up within the next few weeks or so, something like that. Um, I've had this since last October. I still have my charger. It's a 2012 RT Max, has just under 20,000 miles on it right now. It's been a really great car. I have no complaints. Um, I just took it in for a recent service lately. It's 
just a wonderful car overall. I'm really happy with it. But the other car that I'll show you in just a second is new. It's going to be more of a daily driver. Um, so Crystal and I can share it if she's got to drive a long way to the pharmacy. She's a pharmacist too, works for Walgreens. We just got married at the end of July. I'll talk about that in a little bit more in just a second. We met in school and all that good stuff. But um, so we, we should kind of share each other's cars and stuff. But the Charger, I'm, I want to keep that nice. I want to keep the miles low and use it for traveling around to dealerships and um, video purposes and things of that nature. So keep that one nice. Let's go ahead and check out the other one real fast and then we'll continue on with the update video. So this is the new car. It's a 2011 Mini Cooper Clubman S. I've always liked Minis and a lot of people have seen that I was thinking about getting a Mini, um, specifically a green hatchback, but I decided to go for a Clubman just for the extra space and long-term practicality. I'll probably have a full video on this as well since I don't have a like a really in-depth review on a Clubman yet, but not really anytime soon, just it's in the works. Just wanted to give you a quick look at it. And another piece of exciting news like I mentioned is the fact that I just got married on July 27th to my girlfriend of over two years, Crystal. We met in pharmacy school right now. Like I said, she's a pharmacist and works for Walgreens as well. Um, it was a lot of fun. It's been a blessing every day. We got married back in my hometown of Reedsville and all of our friends and family were there. It was probably about 100 or just over 100 people in attendance. And we, um, it was actually at the same church that my parents got married at. And then we had a reception in Reedsville as well at the um, local country club. And everybody had a lot of fun. It was a great time. And I figured you all would like to see the pictures, um, some of the ones that were taken at the ceremony, so you can kind of share in our special moment together. And I also thought it would probably be an appropriate time to kind of go over what my goals and aspirations are. What, where do I see my videos and my concept taking me in the future? What do I hope comes out of it? I mean, it's been kind of a confusing subject for a little while, especially with my viewers, because um, people com often compare me to other car reviewers, and that's really not fair in a way. And I'm going to explain why. There's, uh, there's a lot of car reviewers out there, a lot of car reviewers, whether just written journalists or videographers or both. Um, there's a lot of big people out there. There's Car and Driver, MotorTrainCars.com. There's also a lot of smaller people that have started up over the past few years and things of that nature. There is a tremendous amount of talent out there in the automotive industry. We're just waiting for new people to come in and give a fresh face to car reviews, get some different flavor, I mean, different experience. I mean, it's just, it's awesome being able to talk to people that are just so into their field. They have so many stories to share and um i mean they just they just like to be around i mean i could just i'm, I'm rambling i could just keep going on and on but i i learned i got a new perspective of everything ever since i got back from that um kia press introduction I actually got to meet people and talk with people in the field um get a lot of my questions answered and gain a little experience from it too i call my videos in-depth reviews for a reason it's a concept that I created a couple of years ago that I thought was different, it's something unique. I mean, trying to throw a, a video into the car review pool that is YouTube now, I mean, you got a lot of competition out there. you got to do something that stands out, something that's different. I'm a person that likes to be different. I want to I wanna stand out. I want people to recognize me from somewhere or hear about something that I did that quote-unquote pioneering or, or just something that stands out. And that's what I think I have done with SopCal 04, and that's where I can hope to continue to take it. I don't review cars like a typical reviewer would. I call them in-depth reviews because I'm reviewing the systems of the car. I'm talking about how it's constructed, what's the history behind it, how to, how to use all the features. It's based off facts about 98% of the time and I'll offer some uh, mild critiques and like some realistic headroom that kind of stuff perspective but there's enough people out there reviewing cars professionals that have been doing it forever that let them keep doing what they're doing I'll do something different and the channel right now has 342,000 subscribers first of all thank you I, I, it's, it's ridiculous how huge it's gotten. I never could have predicted this in my life, nor have could have 
anybody I'd known. And it just, it, it proves to me the fact that there are people out there that like to see something a little bit more in depth, that are, they're like me. Um, they're a little bit more analytical. They want to see how everything works. Um, and I have people emailing me all the time, not just, not just car enthusiasts. I mean, a car enthusiast, they, they love to learn about cars. They like to see the specs, see how everything works. So when they come in contact with the car and they experience the car, they can be like, oh, I, I know what that means. Or I can take this knowledge and teach somebody else. Um, but from a consumer standpoint as well, you can go watch a car review and they'll tell you their opinions about the car and stuff. And then you come to my in-depth reviews and I'll teach you about all the systems of the car so by the time you go to a dealership or you go to look at the car to buy or wherever, you're educated enough to the point where you know how that car works. You know if you want or are interested in that car based off of how it is overall. And then when you go there, I mean, obviously some of the salespeople aren't always as educated up on the product as you would like them to be, so you can also come prepared for that aspect as well. Long story short, I make my videos for the curious car enthusiast. Seeing something a little bit more in depth than you would traditionally get from a mainstream review video, just like I say in my trailer. I try to do as much as I can as, find, as far as finding variety. I live in North Carolina. It's not a big hub for manufacturer rotation cars, so I do my best by sourcing all of my cars from dealerships most of the times. I don't do test drives very often because it's common sense to think that all of these cars are for sale. It's a business. You just, you just can't do that. You can't test a car like that because it looks bad on the dealership if you're I mean, you see people doing zero to 60 times and all that kind of stuff. I don't do that. I think all of that stuff should be reserved for the track. But there's just no proper facilities to do that. I just now got the proper equipment to do so. So when I have the opportunities, like the supercar test drives and um, a couple other things, if I get demo cars and um, invited to places, I have the equipment to do proper test drives and sound clips and all that good stuff. So that's good. I mean, everything's a learning process and you just take it one piece at a time but and as far as requests for new vehicles and all of that I try to use my discretion a lot of times as far as filming particular cars um, a lot of people expect my channel to have a lot of variety because I already have done a lot of variety so that's always key in point as well as well as cars that I see people asking about a lot of times um, it all depends on if I can find the car it also depends on if the dealer like has the availability of the car how long it takes for the dealer to get the car so I mean just because I don't get a 2014 car two months before it hits dealerships and you're waiting to see it doesn't mean I won't get it it's just because of my physical limitations of trying to find stuff that's just not in my area early um, it just it kind of is what it is I hope it would change in the future I look forward to traveling hopefully across the country a little bit more often and doing stuff like that but um i'm just a one guy from north carolina who's done this all by himself pretty much <laughs> i think i've done a good job <laughs> um but i just keep on plugging on and i mean and you just got to keep in mind too i mean nothing in this life that's good is easy nothing that's worth anything is easy to come by you gotta work for it you gotta just stay true to your values stay positive don't let the haters get you down just Go for it. If you got a passion and a desire to do something big and you know you got something, you just shoot for the stars. And that's that's my personal, my, my advice from a friend to a friend whoever's watching this video. If you have a goal, if you have a dream, if you have an aspiration, don't let anybody tell you, tell you that you can't do it or it's too stupid or you're wasting your time or anything like that because I heard it at one point and look what I've been able to turn. I mean, I, I, I thank my lucky stars every day. God's been casting blessings left and right, and I just attribute it to, I mean, just being a good person, treating people right, showing them that you have confidence. Um, confidence is a big thing, too. Being truthful, staying, uh, staying true to your word, doing what you're going to say. I mean, all that good stuff, and I'm not here to lecture or anything like that. It's just feeling sentimental at the moment I guess just because it's 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 just amazing I, I don't know what my career is gonna um, 
unfold for me. I don't know if it's going to be full-fledged pharmacy or full-fledged automotive or a blend between the two. I'm exploring all options right now. Um, I'm fortunate enough to the point where I, I mean, I can do that. And I'm, I'm only 24. I have my whole life ahead of me. So, as always, I really truly appreciate all of the support everybody's always given me and sticking sticking by me through and through through the stressful times and the wonderful times and the good cars and the not so good cars and all this good stuff. But um, yeah, so a couple more things also. We'll go upstairs to the computer real quick. A lot of you have um, written me questions and I'm going to go through those real quick and um, just tie up a couple little loose ends, no, no big deal. But I, as far as videos go, I've been uploading some new cars lately as well and I've also filmed a bunch so I'm going to try to start uploading some of the newer stuff and integrate some of the other stuff like I always do and the, the variety and all that um, but be sure to check out the 2014 BMW M6 Grand Coupe I uploaded the other day and the 2014 Impala LTZ cool cars alright see you on the computer okay as far as some page updates for the Stop Kylo 4 Facebook page not much has changed aside from there's a little store widget for my online store um, with the clothing and apparel and everything and I'll show that in just a second the store up in Reedsville is doing good. Um, it's always fun to go up there and hang out and do stuff with Dad while I'm in town and catch up on old things. But um, this is always the best place to find updates on me and the channel and what I have going on. I always I keep it pretty um, regularly updated. My website is pretty much um, just information based. It's a little outdated. 268,000 subscribers. I have well, 342 now or something like that. But um. It needs to be a little bit refreshed, but all the information is there if you have any questions. Um, I'll talk about that a little bit more in just a second. But as far as the Sop Kylo 4 store, I actually have free shipping on two or more items. Um, I basically use all of this for traveling purposes when I have to go long distances to dealerships and if I have to go out of state to film and things of that nature, all the money that I raise from all this branded gear and stuff goes straight to traveling expenses. But it can be accessed from right here. The official Sop Calo 4 store goes right to it. You can click on the official store of Sop Calo 4 and you can see the building and the inside and how it all looks. It's pretty much my my business home base in um, in Reedsville. Or shop.sopcalo4.com. You can pay with PayPal and all of that good stuff. So it's a nice, it's, it's all secure. If you have any questions, you can always just let me know on Facebook and I'll try to answer the best I can. Another thing I've been working on as well, many people who have been following my channel for a while now know that my dad has a car dealership, a used car dealership back in my hometown of Reedsville, North Carolina, called Car Connections Incorporated. Well, back when I was in my early years of college, high school, and all of that, I worked there all the time as a detailer, lot porter, and that's really where the majority of my videos got started, as um, doing lot cars and going to the dealer auctions and all that kind of stuff, which is a lot of fun. But what I'm doing now... On the side, I'm actually helping Dad out, starting up social media, um, Auto Trader back again, CarsForSale.com, and he's got a new website now. So I know a lot of people um, from back in the day, especially like to keep up with the new and unique stuff that Dad tries to carry, and some of the unique things that I see at the auction. So what I decided to do with this Facebook page, and I appreciate everybody that's liked and followed it so far. Um, be sure to like it for all future updates. But I post unique cars that come into the dealership, um, some cool cars that I might see at the auction or going down the road, some of my videos. One day I'd actually like to do just little short walkthrough videos specifically for car connections. They'll be on my channel, but private, of course, just accessed through this page. So it'll, it'll be interesting. So there'll be definitely be some Facebook exclusive um things I'll be doing for people and I'm going to teach everybody in the dealership how to use this also so um, it could be more active if I'm not able to do it myself but you can access photos here you can check out the inventory here and if you go to carconnectionsnc.com it'll bring up the all new website and I try to keep this fairly updated as well um, I oftentimes leave some of the sold inventory as well so people could see um, some of the stuff he's had in the past but in the future, I'll have an about us, uh, some some testimonials, and all of that good stuff. Um, I link Facebook, social media. There's also a Twitter page. YouTube is linked with my channel. But if you go to inventory, it shows everything going down below. Some specials, directions, all that good stuff. But 
it's definitely pretty cool. Like I said, it's carconnectionsnc.com. And if you want to follow the Facebook page, it's Car Connections Inc. Car Connections I N C um, in the Facebook URL. And I, I really appreciate it, and my dad appreciates it. And so let's see if we can make something out of this. It'll definitely be pretty cool. Okay, so before we conclude, I posted a status earlier about um, seeing if anybody had any questions they wanted me to specifically answer if I didn't already cover them. So I'm going to go through the majority of those real quick. Um, I did the updates on the cars as far as trips to Europe. Um, there's no plans yet, but I would like to one day. Um, went over the trips and how Crystal's doing. Everybody's doing well, including my family. Um, I do have a lot of trucks coming all in time. Um, detailing videos, there's no real plans for those right now. Um, this is a longer video than I thought it was going to be, so I guess, <laughs> David, you got what you needed there. Um, as far as how to how do I get dealers and do videos, if you check out my website, SopCalifor.com, it's a little out of date right now, but the info is pretty much there. There's um, what is SopCalifor, what got me started, frequently asked questions and all that good stuff to um, help you along there. Um, as far as exotics, I mean, I'm always trying to film different exotic stuff, stuff that I may have not done before. I'd like to film a... Uh, uh, Lamborghini Aventador Roadster but that's just one thing that kind of pops up into my head as far as pharmacy I am working on some opportunities in pharmacy nothing concrete yet I'm just kind of exploring my hobby right now and um, I just I absolutely love doing what I'm doing and if I can make a career out of it it'd be an absolute dream come true so I mean I, I've been very blessed so far so I'm going to take the lessons and the opportunities that I've been given and just kind of roll with it and I mean I'm only 24 I might as well see where I can take it um, I do want to do a meet and greet one day. I thought that would be pretty cool. Um, something I probably would have been good in Texas, but I didn't have enough time to, um, organize that. Uh, trading the charger for the new Chevy SS? Probably not. Um, I haven't really spent a lot, enough time with the SS. From what I have read, I think it'll be a little bit faster, but I really enjoy the charger. I think it's a very well-equipped car for what it is. Um, the SS seems to be a little expensive, but again, I haven't really done a whole lot of in-depth research but the, the charger is a long keep long-term keeper i'm not i'm not getting rid of that anytime soon top five cars that that take me a long time <laughs> um uh, yeah yeah that take too long to go through I, I love everything um career in pharmacy i just went through that pharmacist job did that um i've always wanted to film a delorean i think those are really cool cars and definitely um worthy of doing an in-depth review on so hopefully one day um, motorcycle videos, that's really not my expertise. There's a lot of other people that do that out there across YouTube. Um, Charger, I haven't done anything to that yet. Married Life is wonderful. New house is going great. Um, Crystal is a car gal. She's a, she's an American car person, a majority of the time, but she likes other things too. She likes Mini and Fiat and, um, a bunch of other stuff. I mean, she just likes all sorts of stuff. Um, I might feel, I'll probably feature her in a video one day if I can ever get her away or bring her to the camera. She's a little camera shy. Um, let's see. I really have enjoyed the Charger as far as overall um, out of all my cars and stuff, but I've, I've enjoyed my time with the Classics and having fun with those. Um, Infinity models, really right now as far as regular uh, Toyota, Scion, Infinity Nissan right now I'm pretty much maxed out at what I can handle just doing what I'm doing and trying to find the unique stuff that I have been doing so right now that's kind of on hiatus I still have to set up a dealership where I live that has that unless I start doing more manufacturer models which we'll find that out with the, over the next few months uh tricks to buying a car i don't really that is probably good for another video um no plans to move to california um yeah, I went over all that stuff with the car. The business is going good. I did sell the Riviera. Test drives, I'm try, I try my best to integrate it, but you, it should be common sense to know that you just can't test drive car videos and uh, cars at dealerships and make videos. I mean, it's it's a business. The cars for, are for sale. Um, I appreciate everybody's um, fan comments. Uh, let's see. Plans for the future, yada, 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 yada. Um, yeah, definitely plan on traveling a lot more in the future. Um, graduation's going well. I can't really, can't really complain. I think that's, that's just about everything. Um, I always do special videos and 
all that good stuff. But I that that's pretty much it. And I, if I missed your com- comment, I apologize. I want to try to keep this as short as possible, and it's already five minutes long. <laughs> I can't do short videos, apparently. But anyway, thanks a lot for watching, and stay tuned for next time. There's always a lot more where that came from. Thanks, guys. Take care.